Hello everyone, my name is Tonino and uh, today we are going to give a look at the delegation pattern in Kotlin. The delegation pattern is an object-oriented design pattern that allows us to get rid of inheritance when uh, dealing with interfaces, um, but achieving the same objective, which is indeed code reusability. So let's try to um, design a pizza restaurant use case in Kotlin and see how this works. Let's start by defining a data class called pizza with, uh, let's keep it simple, just taste type string and some toppings. Also type string. And then we can define two interfaces called pizza maker which has the sole responsibility of baking pizza. And another interface, pizza delivery person, which has the same responsibility of deliver the pizza. At this point, we can define our restaurant that will implement both of our interfaces, pizza maker and pizza delivery person, we need to implement both functions. Now, from here, how do we uh, realize the delegates pattern? Well, in our pizza restaurant, we need to pass both interfaces as um, values. So we can define values, pizza maker, type pizza maker, and also another value, uh, pizza delivery person, Type pizza delivery person. Let's reorganize a little bit the code. And now in the function bake pizza, we can just delegate our pizza maker to do bake pizza and our pizza delivery person to deliver it. So now what is missing is just a concrete implementation for our pizza maker and our pizza delivery person. So let's go on and create a class pizza chef which will take <clears throat> a pizza and of course we'll implement our pizza maker interface and it will of course override the function bake pizza and now we can just print some details of the pizza here for example um, yeah baking pizza pizza all right, this must be defined as well. Even better if it's private. And then we can say Italian style. Ole. And uh, now we can define also, a, uh, let's say, a biker delivery person. Class biker delivery person. Also here is going to take a pizza. And we'll implement the delivery it's a delivery person interface and of course it will override delivery pizza uh, method and here we're going to also just do a print line with um, delivering pizza pizza with my bike that's it at this point we have everything that we need uh, and we can put it all together in a main and we can define a pizza uh, let's say with the taste margarita and some toppings uh, for example basil and ham then we can define our restaurant which is our pizza restaurant and here we need to pass as a pizza maker the, our concrete implementation of pizza chef with our pizza. And uh, as a delivery person, we need to pass our biker delivery person. There you go. And at this point, if we call pizza or restaurant.deliverPizza, we should have everything working as expected. As you can notice here, we are delegating the uh, function of pizza making and the function of delivery to two separate classes. In uh, this way, we uh, achieved reuse of functions, but 
uh, using composition and not inheritance. As you can see here, we have our results as expected. Now, this is where Kotlin comes to play. What we can do is to get rid of this boilerplate code, which is basically simply just calling our delegates. So we can remove this and instead we can use the keywords by, which is basically telling Kotlin to do exactly what you expect. And at this point, if we try to rerun the code, we will notice that it works again as expected. That's it for today. I hope that uh, this was useful for someone out there. Um, have you ever used delegates in your code? This is just one way of using them when talking with interfaces, but uh, there are many other ways. Maybe we can explore them in another video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment as usual. And if you find this content useful, please leave a like and share it on your timeline. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.